Okay, this is a manifold. It's a portion of the manifold that uh, uh, where the burners fit right on through those brass fittings. And you'll notice the brass fittings have a hole in the center of them. Okay, that's a precisely drilled hole. Gas is going to come out through that hole and how much gas comes out depends on the manifold pressure and the size of the hole. Now I want to be able to identify what size these are and most of these have a marking on them somewhere that tells you what size it is. Uh, if you don't have a marking on them uh, they're done in numbered drill sizes so if you have numbered drills you can test it that way by putting different drill sizes in there and then determining which one it is but most of them are marked and I'll show you where the marking is on these things okay I pulled one of these off and I've kind of sanded around it so you could see the markings that are on it as we get a little closer to this you'll see that's a number 42 okay that's a number 42 drill size so let's determine from here how much gas is going to flow through that. Okay, here's your orifice chart. Now that one said 42, so if you look at 42 up there in the left, uh, and our normal firing rate for this furnace is 3.5 inches of water column that's the second one over is 24.95 so essentially that is a 25,000 BTU burner so if you got 3.5 inches of water column and a 42 inch or for a number 42 uh, drill size hole then you're going to end up with 25,000 you multiply that times the number of burners and you'll get the total BTU input. For this one here it had three burners and so there's three 25's to be uh, total out to 75,000 BTU's. And that's how you uh, uh, check firing rate by uh, orifice size.